In this video, we're going to take a look at the customizable user interface in AutoCAD and how we can create our own custom ribbon panel. To begin with, I am going to open up the CUI dialog box. This can be done in a couple of different ways. You can go to the Manage tab and in the Customization panel, select User Interface. Personally, I just like to type CUI and press Enter at the keyboard to open it up. The dialog box opens on the Customize tab, and what we have here are all of the different customizations that we can do. So here on the left side, these are different objects I can select, whether they're my workspaces, whether they're toolbars, menus, ribbons, etc. Anything I select, I can see them and thus modify them. So for example, I've got the Manage tab active up top here. So I can go to Ribbon and Tabs and Manage, and I can see all of the different things that make up this tab. So if I select the Manage Action Recorder, this is the first panel that I see up here. And you can see over here on the right a preview of it. If I select the Customization panel, we can see that second panel here. And here I can edit them. I can add more things to these panels if I want. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just create my own new panel rather than modify any existing ones. To do this, I'm going to scroll back up to collapse this dialog box and collapse the tabs. And then I'm going to select the panels, right click and choose new panel. And then I can go ahead and give it a name. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this custom. Now you can see that I have a couple of different things here. I have the dialog box launcher. That's going to be the bottom right corner if I want to expand and open up a dialog box. And I can see row one. So I wanna begin adding commands to row one. I'm gonna start just by adding a simple line command here. So in the bottom section here for my commands, I can scroll through the alphabetic list. I can also search. So by typing in line, I filter this down to just things that have line in them. And then I can drag and drop the line onto my panel. So I'm gonna drag this up into the upper screen and drop it on row one. Now you can see the preview of my panel over here on the right side. I can continue to add more commands. Let's say I wanted to add the circle command and I'll just use the default center radius here and drag it up into the row one again, right after the line. So I can continue to add these. They look more like a toolbar than they will a panel. So I'm gonna customize this a little bit. I'm going to come over here to row one, right click on it and create a new sub panel. Now I'll add some more commands in here. Let's say that I wanted to draw some arcs. I'll drag my arc and drop it in this sub panel. And there I have my arc. I'm going to go ahead and drag another one on here and I'll just pick another arc option here and drop it there. Now, sometimes you'll notice that this preview doesn't update automatically. I find that if I usually just click on another object and then click back onto it, that it will update. Now remember I did a sub panel and then I did a first row. So far it looks like just one continuous toolbar, but I'm going to right click on my sub panel here and do another new row. Now I'll drag a few more commands on here. Uh, let's see, I'll go for the explode command. Once again, if it doesn't preview, I'll just click on something else and come back to it. Now you can see that it has a separate little row here. Uh, let's say I wanted to do some text here, maybe my arc aligned text. Drag and drop that. And once again, just select something and it should update. Now I can select any of these objects and view their properties down below. So here I have the line command and I can see its properties. And right now it's button style is set to small without text. I'm going to set this to large with text vertical. And now you can see I get the large icon with the text underneath it. Let's take a look at some of the other options here. Large with text horizontal where it stretches it out. Then we have small with text. We already saw small without text and then we have large without text. So lots of different options here to set that up exactly as you want. For consistency, I'm going to create my circle the same way. So I'm going to create it large with text vertical. Many panels also have the slide out, the little drop down arrow where you can see more. 
we can do the same thing here. You can see I have the slide out option on my current panel. So what I want to do then is to right click on the slide out and choose a new row. Then I can drag some items into that row. So I'll just drag a couple of dimensional tools in here and then I can apply it. And now I've got the beginnings of my panel. So what can I do with this panel? I can either add it to an existing tab or I can create my own ribbon tab and place it there. In the next video, we'll actually go ahead and create a tab to place this panel on. That concludes this look at creating a custom ribbon panel in AutoCAD.